Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once more to our political conversation. And today we are going to talk about why USA dominance in the world is diminishing. Why is that everybody in the world does not admire the dollar anymore? Why is everybody moving from USA and joining countries like China, countries like the Russia? Why is that happening? Why is the influence of USA in Africa diminishing? That's actually what I want us to discuss about. But before we do that, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Smash the bell button so that at any moment we come up with any political content, then YouTube can be in the position to notify you so that you can watch that <laughs> content. Now, let us go back to the discussion. Why is the influence of United States of America diminishing all over the world? After the Second World War, the United States of America actually came out as a victor when the USSR was broken into pieces into the current Russia we have. And at that particular time, United States of America became untouchable, became a very strong nation. It became a superpower. It became as an eye of the world. It became as the watchdog of democracy in the world. And at that particular time, United States of America was actually the founder of World Bank. It was the founder of IMF. And that means United States of America was actually giving loans to various governments in the world. Its influence was actually felt in Africa from one corner to another corner of Africa. The influence of United States of America was quite strong. But literally, United States started reaping huge profits from Africa. The project that United States could fund in Africa could not benefit the people of Africa. It was not a win-win situation, but it was a one-sided win. So it was a win of United States of America. At a certain point, Russia started having an influence in Africa. It also started lending Africa, but at a fair rate. China came in. It started doing massive projects. Some of the projects which actually China could do in Africa were done free without any kickback, without any gain. And China started giving Africa what we call loans to African nations. China started actually 
developing Africa inferior spheres like infrastructure. So the people of Africa could even learn how to do that infrastructure. So that means the knowledge was passed from one country to the other. So China became a good friend of Africa. And that means its influence started growing smaller, but spreading like fire in the African nation. Until currently, the influence of China, the influence of Russia in Africa is actually being felt because they give a friendly loans, they give loans which don't have any restriction to the government of Africa. And because of that, Africa started looking to the side of China and Russia. And within no minute, the Western world have found themselves being left alone. Now what is rooming in Africa is de-dollarization. Very many countries in Africa, now they don't see an effect of having dollars, of using the dollar as a common currency in exchanging, in marketing in Africa. And because of that, very many countries, they don't want to use the dollar anymore. They want to do business using their local currency. And that's why the idea first was being championed by somebody who we call Mohamed Gaddafi, the president of Libya who was actually killed by the Western countries. Because Gaddafi wanted Africa to have a common currency. They wanted Africa to have one army. They wanted Africa to have an African bank, which will be used to develop Africa. But unfortunately, the unity of Africa never came through during the life of Mohammed Gaddafi. Now we have a big champion of Africa who is called William Samuel Ruto. William Samuel Ruto is actually championing for African unity. William Samuel Ruto does not want African people to use the dollar because it does not make sense. Because there is no need of buying a dollar. Then you use the same dollar to trade with your neighbor. You can use your local money to trade with your neighbor, to trade within Africa. So that the dollar can be used when an African country is trading with United States of America. William Samuel Ruto is championing that Africa should have boundless economy where we trade ourselves within Africa without having boundary barriers. William Samaruto wants Africa to have one army so that it can be used to solve its conflict effectively and easily because he believes that African conflicts should be solved in African way. And for that to happen, 
we must step forward. So William Samuel Ruto has actually come out to be a bigger champion for African unity. He is like the Gaddafi of the present. And that's why we have to say echo to William Samuel Ruto, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya. I don't know what's your take. Do you believe that we need to have a dollar to trade with our neighbor countries? Should we move away from a dollar? Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Smash the bell button, like this video and all other videos we have made whenever you come across them. And also, share this video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then this is the channel they need to subscribe to. And with that, I say adios.